hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and as promised we're finally going to get into laravel we have had some requests to this tutorial and i do have some good news for you which is that this is gonna be a tutorial series so initially we wanted it to be a crash course but we came we or quickly came to find out that to include all the parts of laravel that we want to cover it's not going to fit in one hour or an hour and a half so and i think most of you guys prefer the modular type or modular format rather than having a crash course so in this series we're going or we're not just going to be covering the fundamentals of laravel we'll also be building a project from start to finish and in this video we're going to take a look at what we will be building and we're also going to talk a little bit about laravel and some of the things that it can do by the way guys if you are new to this youtube channel and you want contents about programming tutorials so we have a lot of topics like java php um, python and other topics available so i highly suggest that you subscribe to this youtube channel and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever we have a new upload all right so before we get into what we will be doing Let's talk a little bit about what Laravel is. So Laravel is an open source PHP framework and creators of Laravel have said many times that the aim to make the development process pleasing without sacrificing the quality. So Laravel is very elegant and things just kind of seem to work together very nicely. Also, Laravel is not only popular but also respected today. And Laravel uses the MVC or Model View Controller Design Pattern. So we'll, we will be talking about that throughout the entire series. But the basic idea is that the model deals with the database. The view is the user interface that displays in the browser. And the controller handles requests which come from either URL or forms such as the post, get, delete, and other requests coming from URL and forms. Alright guys, these are the topics that are included in this particular series. So I think we already covered the first one which is the Lar Laravel overview. So we have discussed some of the strong points of using this PHP framework and also some of the advantages of using laravel also i'm going to guide you in the installation or setup so we could get up and running with this laravel framework in our local development machine and also in this series we're going to build a website in a blog application with authentication and access control and of course at the end of this series we should be able to deploy our own or our very own Laravel application. Alright, so now that we get that out of the way, let's talk about what Laravel actually does for us. So why would we choose to build an application with Laravel over just building it straight up from scratch? So actually there's too many reasons to list. So I listed here the important ones. So Laravel handles routes in an extremely simple way. You can simply define what URL and what type of request that you want to handle. Now, most MVC PHP frameworks do this as well, as you know, such as CodeIgniter, um, CakePHP. But some of them, some of the routing files are really difficult when it comes with expressions and dynamic URLs and things like that. So Laravel makes everything very, very simple, which make it a great candidate for RESTful API. And also Laravel adds a security layer to your application. So it automatically escapes what it needs to. And it also implements cross-site protection with forms and submitting to the database. So whenever we are submitting data to our database, Laravel takes care of the intricacies of the security inside our application. So among other things, working with database is also easy or very easy. 
Laravel is shipped with an awesome command line tool called Artisan. And it lets us do pretty incredible things with just a single command. So one of those things is to create database migrations. Laravel also uses the Blade template engine to display views. So it means that we can extend layouts. We can use control structures like loops and conditionals right inside the HTML. So there's also there's many different ways to implement authentication, but Laravel sets that up for us to automatically create migrations and to create the user table. And all we have to do is run a simple artisan command to enable everything and enable authentication. Also, Laravel can, can handle sessions. So we're going to do that or we're going to discuss that later in this series. And also, Laravel provides us with mechanism to compile assets with all the intricacies of storage and file management. And also it comes with error handling. So error handling is very important, especially with bigger projects. And it is very important to have this type of module or type of feature in a framework when it comes to handling errors. And also we have the unit testing, but I think we're not going to touch that in this series. But it's worth mentioning that Laravel comes with unit testing mechanism. Also, email configuration for SMTP. So if you wanted to have like a verification email sent from your application and things like that. And Laravel also handles cache pretty well. So these are just some of the things that some of the benefits to using this framework. So as far as the environment goes, our development environment, I'm going to be using Windows and we're going to use uh, WAM, which gives us an Apache server, PHP, and MySQL on our local machine. But Laravel is completely cross-platform, so even if you are using Mac or using Linux, you can use uh, SAM or you can use something like LAMP or MAM for your development. Installing Laravel is also pretty easy. We're going to use Composer, which is a dependency manager. So this is kind of like an NPM if you are a JS developer. So we're going to install that and then we're going to run this simple command to create a new Laravel project. So by the way, you can download the Composer from getcomposer.org website. I think I have already mentioned that Laravel comes with the artisan CLI so it will enable us to handle many tasks so number number one is to create controllers and models we can use uh, artisan CLI command for that when we are trying to create controllers and models and later on I'll be showing uh, showing you some of the example commands that we can use for this particular uh, task so creating database migration files and running migrations also we can we can use the artisan CLA for that create providers events jobs form requests and other tasks related to this and also we can show the routes we can also uh, issue session commands we can also run tinker and also we can create custom commands by using the artisan CLI and these are the examples of artisan commands so we have the PHP artisan list we also have uh, artisan help migrate also uh, artisan make controller and new controller and here is the one if we want to make a model so artisan make colon and then model and then the name of the, the model and uh, hyphen m or dash m and also we have the php artisan migrate and uh, last example here is artisan tinker 
So all of these commands or some of these commands we're going to use later in this tutorial series and other commands that uh, probably we need in our development process. So I think that's it for this tutorial and in the next video we're going to look up how to set up our environment and install the Laravel. So by the way, if you're new here in our YouTube channel and you want content about programming, so I highly suggest to subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever, uh, whenever we have a new upload. Thanks.